Hey, what's up? I'm Daniel from today's iPhone.com. I've got a tip today, and it's kind of based off the tip I showed you guys last week, which, if you haven't seen it, go to our YouTube channel, or you can check out the website, today's iPhone.com. Now, the tip I showed you last week was how to mark all of your messages as on or as read at the same time. So, if you go to your messages and you have 11 like I do right now, you can mark all of them at as read, and you get rid of this nice little red thing here. And here's the problem with that. You get rid of this thing, which is what most people want, but when you go to your messages, they all look the same. There's no little blue thing next to it. So I'm going to show you a way that you can get rid of the, uh, the little uh, notification alert up there on the home screen, but you get to keep these little blue guys. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to your settings. So you got to, if your home button's broken like me, this could be a little more challenging. Come on, home button. There we go. So we will go to settings, and then we will go to notifications. And then you'll go to mail. Yours may be in a different order. You may have to scroll around and look for it, but mail. And then you have in notification center, and that's talking about the pull down. So do you want it in there? That's your option. But alert style is really what you want to look at. You can leave it as banners, which is what I have. It. You can have it none, so when you get emails, it won't even bother you. But um, you can also do alerts like the old style, so look at that. But the uh, badge app icon is what we are interested in. If we flip that off right here, you'll see that when I go home, there is no more uh, badge app icon, I guess is what the name is. And uh, But when we launch our mail, it's they're all still there. You get the nice blue thing, so you can quickly scroll through and see if you have any unread emails. So that's cool because in my tip I showed you last week, it just marks them all as unread, which is cool if you need that. But if you want this level of you know precision, I guess you could say, this is what you would want to opt for. So I hope that helped you. You can turn that off, and at any time you can turn it back on and have all those beautiful uh, icons back on there. And uh, this works for other apps as well, messages, you know, things like that. But uh, that's pretty much it. So you can follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash tip underscore Daniel. I hope you guys had a great day. And I hope this tip helped.